Well, Tuesday, the county took up the issue, and now tonight it's the city of Bakersfield's turn to take on homelessness. It's an issue we continue to follow closely for you here at TV17. Bakersfield City Council members are set to address it at tonight's council meeting. But that's not all. Council members will also vote on whether to implement body cameras for Bakersfield police officers. 17's Aton Wallace spoke with the mayor and the chief of police today, and he joins us live now from City Hall with all of those details. Aton? And Tammy, good evening to you. Yes, as you can see here, look, it's a full house here at this Big Shield City Council meeting. We are about now less than five minutes away. Council members are expected to make a call to action plan on homelessness. All this, as the Bakersfield Police Chief says, he supports enacting and deploying body cameras department wide. It's an issue that's been front and center in Bakersfield homelessness. We keep track of all of this positive information. But tonight, city council members are set to make a call to action on this issue, meaning council members will direct city staff to take steps to address homelessness. The first step, support downtown clean teams, which includes a recommendation for the city to contract with private cleaning services. The second step, increase policing and security, including a possible temporary addition of private security services to certain areas of the city impacted by recent crime increases, including downtown. The third step, support for the Kern County Homeless Collaborative. That includes a $155,000 investment to hire additional administrative staff for the nonprofit. The fourth step, funding for 100 to 300 additional emergency beds. The council also is calling on city staff to come back with a recommended property for a low barrier shelter, either agreeing with the county's choice that passed Tuesday or selecting a different spot. We need to respond quickly. So the challenges of homelessness indeed are complex and the city is committed to working together with our community to make sure that we have a safe community and that we take care of our homeless. It's not one or the other. Additionally, the council will vote on whether to implement 507 body cameras for BPD over the next three years worth $2.7 million. Chief Martin is in support. Some people think that body cameras are going to solve all of our problems and that that's just not the case, but it's just one other tool in our toolbox to uh, provide better service to the community. And as part of that agreement, the Bakersfield City can terminate that contract with the body camera provider uh, at any point they want, and they do not need to provide a reason. Now, if it is approved tonight, the body cameras, we could start seeing body cameras, 200 of them, deployed as soon as October. Reporting live here at City Hall, Aton Wallace, 17 News. All right, Aton, thanks.